Ama mananta tata zingwarero Niko mane mainza Ayaloa Mama wata tata tata nalero Niko mane mainza Ayaloa Kura kura ziwane Kura kura ziwane Niko mane mainza Ayaloa Nawa mama na mwana Kura kura ziwane Kura kura ziwane with a population of about 14 million people, Malawi is one of the countries in Africa where two-thirds of its population rely entirely on agriculture. Our economy is agro-based and the agriculture itself contributes over 36% to the GDP. Unlike other countries in the region, Malawi has been regarded as a farming nation However, because of the type of farming that has been largely practiced for a very long period, the quality of soil has been seriously affected in the recent past. What you are seeing here is a stunted maize, which is a yellow. And you can see from this portion that the farmer is going to get zero yield. And that is why AGRA, Alliance for Green Revolution in Africa, partnered with NASFAM, National Smallholders Farmers of Malawi, and the Clinton Foundation as part of the wider effort to make Africa feed itself. We run a large commercial farm, and through this large commercial farm, which we call an anchor farm, we reach out to the rural community, in the, in the surrounding rural community, uh, to smallholder farmers particularly. AGRA's vision is to regenerate 6.3 million hectares of degraded smallholder farms in the African continent. Malawi is among 19 countries where AGRA is working closely with numerous institutions to encourage better farming practices with the aim of achieving Africa's green revolution. The Soil Health Program is one of the four thematic programs. Getting these soils that our farmers farm on to be as healthy to have the nutrients that is required by crops. We have embarked on a very wide diversification programs. The program that we're doing with Agra, for example, is a very good one. That is helping farmers to improve their soil health and also improve their nutrition. Organized as clubs at the village level, these farmers are some of those who have not only learned but have already started to practice what they have been taught by the various extension workers on sustainable farming. My name is Agent Lulanga. I'm a field officer from the Foundation. Field officer for Nchisi, Nas Farm. It is through such trainings and field days that farmers get to understand the whole concept of soil health management and conservation program. We are looking at average soybean yields of 600 to 800 kilograms per hectare. But the varieties that are in, the, in circulation from seed companies, they have a potential of 3 to 4 metric tons per hectare. So we'd like to move the farmers to a, to, to a higher attainment of, of, of yield. We distributed the seed 20 kgs per farmer. So one acre approximately when they harvest they can they can have almost 800 to 1000 kgs of shelled groundnuts. So I take this crop as a commercial to my family to get more money. <laughs> This plot is where we are de demonstrating the benefits of uh, planting maize in the piece or in the basin. What you are seeing here is a beautiful crop of uh, groundnut uh, seeds. This is actually the essence of why we have been here as a group. It was a, a legume um, production meeting where we needed to look at and assess how the farmer here managed to come up with such a good crop. I'm farming here in Mchinji. Uh, my farm is in uh, Chimwankango. Grain legumes like soybeans and pigeon peas, they have the ability to improve uh, the fertility through nitrogen fixation. Since people be able to intercrop with, other, uh, uh, with maize, which is our staple uh, crop, 
uh, there's a need for them to rotate. So what we have done is to add in uh, an agroforest species, uh, which is the Frosia uh, candida. Which is grown in association, association with, the, with the maize. Now when it is harvested, the stove will be laid eh, down on the floor. Uh, so it will give room for the tephrosia to, uh, to grow. Yeah. So next year, the farmer will reap, will start, will start harvesting, harvesting the, 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 the pores from the tephrosia. Uh, and the seed will be used for recycling next year. My name is Chigawa Mrope. I am a reed farmer. This is my wife. Poyamba Malima Podia, Ulima Soya. Another Uzoti Soya, we were better. We are Boli Mamizi. Mamdawe at Sobano. Four men, the Abuno Gombidi. You may beg us Gombidi a cup of Zivajabo. There is no doubt that some of those who have already started planting soya beans, as well as those practicing soil health management, are happy lots. Helping in fighting hunger, and not only in eradicating poverty in Malawi, but in the region as well. Nyumba, yanjwela yabuno bizote nta, yobaga cement vasi, malada gumamba, Listening to farmers in Malawi leaves one with high hopes that the initiative is achievable. If I can get a good marketing, I can be a big farm. We have been encouraged by initial successes. So our next step is uh, to expand. Second is to make markets work for smallholder farmers. Sustainable farming is a process that meets the need of the present without compromising the ability of the future generations to meet their own needs. And this is what is all about with the Soil Health Program. Farming is a big business and it has to be taken like so. It, it, you don't have to just take it like a sideline, a sidetrack. Uh -uh. It's really the business. It is a model uh, that is very much, um, that we think as government we can easily um, uh, adopt and uh, upscale to even the uh, other areas of the country. Ulimi, kozo kandito gururanga. Ngadi nita pidiliza kugwira bwino bwino nchito za ngazi ni kumava malangizo kuchokera kwa langisi Farmers are always thinking ahead and all what is needed is to empower them with the right information and necessary skills to fully integrate the needs for social and economic development with that of conserving the environment Agriculture is the core business in Malawi and as long as the farmer is happy the nation will be smiling <laughs>